Give me a second to get set up, guys. Okay, just giving everyone some time to jump in. Hey, view. I'm getting set up still. My desk is a mess. I have all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. All right. Um, all right, that's is you still can't find it? Oh no. That's crazy because you were coloring in it with or you were flipping through it. No, I think you had actually started coloring in it. Now it's gone. <laughs> I mean it's somewhere, right? I have all these crumbs on my desk for some reason. Okay. An alcohol marker splatters. <laughs> Clean it later. Must be behind the desk. Is that the only place you haven't looked yet? to sanitize and put some lotion on. All right. So, we left off. Let me see. Got this page. This page is the bird. Making progress on the bird too, by the way. Here. This is where we are. Yeah, I haven't seen her. I hope she's okay. I haven't heard from her. She didn't reply back on Amazon. I mean, on Instagram. I hope she's doing okay. Okay. So, we left off. Let me just... So you guys can see. Like I said, my desk is kind of a mess, so bear with me. Because I'm working on like a bunch of pages at one time, so it's a bit of a mess. Can you guys see okay? Mm-mm. -uh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, when we last left off for like the thousandth time, we did the background on the inside, and I based the background on the outside, and you guys wanted me to wait and not do the background myself. Um, so I waited. I didn't, I haven't done anything. Um, let me just dump my pencil sharpener because I think it's full. So I haven't done anything. So we're going to do that today. And then 
Maybe if we have time, we'll start working on the bottle itself. Or we can start on some leaves. Okay. So I did choose the combo before we um, finished last stream. I went with an Ohuhu base of, this is number PB10, turquoise green light. And then we have the whole binds here. So we have peacock green, forest green, and fur green. So I went through and I did very lightly a base of this over it. So we're gonna move on to the second color, which is forest green. And I said I wanted the, the shadow to be closer to the bottle. I was gonna go the other way, but we're gonna go the shadow closest to the bottle. So I'm just gonna phase this out here. And you can do either way, it don't matter. Um, whichever direction you want your shadow. They both would look good, in my opinion. Um, either direction, I just went with this way. I should probably recap. Um, if those, uh, some people might not have seen part one. So if you haven't seen part one, it is still up on my channel. It's gonna remain there. It's under the live section because it is a live stream. So if you're looking for it, it's not going to be under videos. It's going to be under live stream or, or under the live tab. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are still working in full drive here. So I'm just creating a shadow around the bottle. Then I'm gonna come in with the darkest one and I'm just doing this little section right here. I'm not, I haven't gone around yet. And this is the darkest color. And I'm just bringing this up and out a little bit. Hang on a second. Let me, um, there it is. Hang on guys. Okay. If you want to come in with something darker, you can pick a darker green, um, but I think this is going to be dark enough. You can even come in with like a dark warm gray. I'm trying to keep my hand here so my, my camera, it does this weird thing where it goes out of focus. So um, I'm trying to like not have it do weird things if I can help it. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna come back with the middle color and I'm gonna bring it out. Looking for your book now, okay. It's somewhere, I mean, you had it for sure. Cause um, you were flipping through it and talking about it and stuff with me, so. We gotta get you some air tags for your coloring books. <laughs> so you won't lose them. <laughs> oh, it might still be there. It might still be there. Not that I'm enabling or anything, but, uh, you know. If you can't find it, that is always an option. But I feel like as soon as you find it, I mean, as soon as you get another one, you're going to find yours. So I would look for it for a little while first. And then I'm coming in with the lightest color. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Just a little. Just a little bit. Or if you find it and you buy another one, then you can always use the other one for like experimenting. Or if you mess up on a page or want to redo a page, it'll be there. And I'm just going over the whole thing so we can kind of blend in together in different directions. So I think Thursday might be days because I was thinking about getting on yesterday, but I was so tired. I slept most of yesterday. Um, so I think Wednesday, I mean, Thursday is probably a better day. Because when I say I was completely burnt out from work. I barely made it on here today, um, but I did take a nap, so I was like, I'm going to take a quick nap, and then I'll jump on, we'll do this background, I mean, I could do some of the background, and then some of the leaves if you guys want, or I could just do the whole background, so just let me know if you guys are getting bored with the background, I'll do another piece up here. If you're getting bored, then we'll switch. Just want to let me add a little bit more of this one. Yeah, because I want it to look like it's coming outward. Okay, so moving on to up here, just going to bring out. This one's gonna go up to about right here, so this piece needs some too. And then don't forget the pieces here in between.
And I'm going to bring this one up a little bit too. To about right here. You're probably going to hear Yuki bark here in a few minutes because he hears someone outside. And he is officially a barker. But he also is chewing on his little chew. Um, so he may or may not bark. Just giving you a heads up so you guys don't catch a heart attack when he barks. But I gave him a chew, so he's kind of preoccupied. But he he does notice them outside, so. So once I'm done here, I do have some videos I need to upload. Well, record and upload. Um, I need to... do my weekly update on what I've been doing this week or what I did last week and what I want to do this week um, that way come I probably record it today and upload it on Saturday because technically the week's not up but I think I did that video like two weeks ago so I could upload it today if I want and then just let the upload day be um, Thursdays for that as well as the stream that way you guys can have a stream and a video possibly So, I have some mythographic books in my cart. Can't find it. Oh, yep, see, you might as well go and head to the store and, and snag up that other one before someone else does. It is odd that you can't find it, though. I find that kind of strange. Because you, you definitely had it. Accidentally put it in a box going to someone else, did you? That could be a thing. Because we were also talking about sending out packages too, so it could be in a box. Might want to check. Yeah, it's possible that happened. I was supposed to get up and, and do a whole bunch of errands yesterday. Um, that didn't happen. <laughs> like I said, I slept and then my errands that I, that I did want to do, I kind of forgot about. 
And by the time I realized it, I was like, oh, it's already like five o'clock. I was like, well, nothing's getting done. I wanted to go, I need to get um, some refill pencil, a restock on some pencils because I'm a little short. Some of them are pretty short. And I wanted to get um, a restock on them. And I, I just usually go to Blick because it's like if you buy six, you get the price is cheaper or something like that. So I do need about six, probably more. So I just, I just totally forgot. And then I'm like, well, I didn't go today because I had to stream and wash my clothes. And we have an Amazon package coming for a new water filter that I wanted to be home for. So it did not happen, but we'll see. I think Blick is open on Sunday, so maybe I'll go on Sunday. Just kind of take a ride up there. I also have to wash on Sunday too, again, so um, we'll see. All right. So that's the top half done. I do, um, I did go into one of these leaves a little bit. I just want to erase it. Oh, you guys are going to have a blast in there. If you've never been in there, oh man. I'm sure you, the one you guys are going to is probably going to be 10 times better than the one I have here. So I can only imagine. <laughs> You're going to have a blast. It's fun in there. And they have all kinds of stuff. And like I said, I'm sure... Um, I'm sure yours is going to be better because... Um, it seems a little dark. Why does it seem so dark? Hold on. Um, you guys are on the, the, the east side, so... Um, I, I know, I'm already knowing yours is going to be better because it tends to be that way for some reason. Um, everything over on that side as far as stores and stuff like that is usually bigger or holds more things. Um, they don't trust us over here on this side because someone's always stealing or messing it up for the rest of us. So unfortunately, ours is not as big but I can imagine you're gonna have a blast I know it I put a little bit out here for this color you'll videotape yeah that'll be cool uh, if they let you anyway I know the one out here they don't really like you to at the same time they don't really say anything but um there was a lady in there trying to videotape and they were kind of hovering over her <laughs> so i assume they were hovering either because she was doing something she didn't have any business doing or you know she just looked like she was up to no good but really she was just vlogging um I didn't see her doing anything suspicious, so I don't know, but they tend to do that here on this side of the world. You sneak. <laughs> yeah. You might have to, I mean, but they might let you on over there, you know, it's, I'm sure it's a little bit more trusting over on that side. Cause, um, over here, even, even over here, they have like certain things locked up and I'm like, like all of the paint markers are locked up behind lock and key. The Copics are locked, you know, all the things that people would have themselves a ball with putting in their pockets with no problem they have it locked up even some of the um some of the micron pins are even locked up i'm like 
you can get those on on like Timu and stuff nowadays. So you know it's bad when they're locking up the micron pins and like the cheaper things. But um, I still like going in there. You know I don't steal anything. I just go and get whatever it is I'm supposed to get and head out. I tend to not linger too long because they do um, hover. So and I don't like that. That'll kind of make me not want to buy anything. And they don't all hover. Like, not all the employees will. But certain ones, they will come. And they'll, and some of them will play it off. They'll be like, oh, you know, how you doing? And you're like, fine. Find everything okay? And you're like, mm-hmm. But then they still stand there and they just kind of watch you. And it's just like, okay. You know, so... um and some of them will just blankly come down the, the aisle and just stand there and watch you. And it's just like, what are you doing? And I know, you know, my I hate to say it, but my skin color probably plays a large part of that. Um, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, you know, like I said, it kind of makes you not want to buy anything it kind of just makes you want to put everything down and go okay never mind have a good day and walk out the store but um like I said I don't I used to like go in there and just kind of walk around look around I don't do that anymore because I don't like the hovering um so I will just go get what I need and go out and it's crazy because the store is usually pretty empty. There's not very many people in there when I go. So it gives them even more reason to kind of come hover and it's very annoying. So I just get what I need and head out. But it's also hard to like concentrate on your shopping when you have someone watching you. But like I said, now I'm sure not all of the stores are like that, but we only have one out here in Vegas, um, which is also unfortunate. Like that is literally the only art store we have and it's only one of them. Like we have like Michaels and stuff like that, but those are like craft stores or hobby stores rather. Um, Blick, I think is the only actual art store we have which is unfortunate. I need to move to a state where they have like a bunch of art district areas where there's like a million art stores and stuff. <laughs> where I can just, you know, drive to the local area or the local art store. Even There's not even a lot of like local like mom and pop art sure like in the ones we have are like just strictly for like painting or sculpting they have like their specific things so it's not like you can go in that store and be like oh let me you know check out the color pencil section because they don't have one it's just you know sculpting or painting or whatever Um, just sharpening up here a little bit. Just a little. This one doesn't need sharpening. Okay. Moving on. It sucks you can't find your book. I hope you find it. We could always pick another page in another book if you can't. And then when you do find it, we'll just go back to the page we picked.
yeah, it it was overnight. It really was because it was you had it one night, the night I was streaming, and then when you went to go stream, you couldn't find it. Matter of fact, I think it was the same night, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> You probably just said it somewhere you don't think you would have said it, and then that's why you can't find it, because your mind is like, well, I wouldn't have said it there, so it wouldn't be there. Or one of your boxes. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's in one of those boxes you probably put in there by accident or something. You'll find it. And again, we have like a million mythographic um, coloring books. So we can always pick another page. Yuki, what are you crying about? He wants to get up on the bed. He's trying to get to my squishmallows. But I don't let him up there when I'm not up there because he'll chew apart all of my teddy bears while I'm not looking. So he's like standing at the side of the bed whining because he wants to go up there. But no, sir. He probably figures, well, she's recording right now, so if I whine loud enough, uh-uh. Nope. So I've been, um, I've been working in, in mostly my mythographic books. Well, that's all I've been working in this week, actually. I um, Knock it off. You're not getting up there. Um, that's all I've been working in. And I've been slowly making progress on um, pages that... Mostly pages that I've already started. I haven't started anything new. Though it is very tempting. I'm, I've been looking at... Um, there's a page I want to do in Labyrinth. And, um, I am, I haven't, hey, 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 excuse me, no, no, um, there's a page I'm working in, I mean, there's a page I want to start in Labyrinth, but... I've been doing really good not starting it because I want to, number one, finish that bird page. It's coming along. I still haven't finished the bird, but I've been working on other areas of the page. So, um, Yuki, you barking? Um, so... Well, I have all of my mythographic books sitting on the edge of my table. So I kind of put it underneath a couple of the other books so that I'm not tempted to start it. But it's tempting. I really want to, but I want to at least get almost done with the bird page in Aviary. And... um a couple of other pages that I have going but I am not rushing through these books so it probably will be a pretty slow process and then I have certain ideas that I want to do in certain books too so um, it's a bit of a a process but it's a good process it's coming out the bird page I like I made some changes 
Um, <laughs> they are not at the four to five sale target. Oh, okay. Which, okay. <laughs> I was going to ask which ones, but see here, there I go already. And I already have um, two of them, two or three of them in my cart, my Amazon cart. Um, one of them was on sale for like 10 and I'm like, hmm, I just might push that button because I would rather get them on sale than pay that full 20. So we'll see. We'll see because I do have, before I get any more books, I, I want to make sure I'm set on, like I said, I have pencils that I kind of need to restock on. So I want to make sure that I have the pencils I need before I go buying more coloring books. Not that I need any more coloring books, honestly. <laughs> but you know how us colorists are. We see and we want and we get so. Our collections grow faster than we can actually color, so. But I've seen some people color pretty quick. Like, even even the mythographic pages, I see them just go through them, and I'm like, whoa. Like, I would love to have the speed along with, you know, the way I color. Even though I know the way I color is a slower because I mostly use pencils. Some people use strictly markers, you know. So I wish I could color a little bit faster, but still have the same skill, if that makes any sense. Or a better skill. I've seen people do great work with like pastels, strictly pastels, and I'm like, wow, like the shading and everything. And I'm like, that's amazing. So, um, I know my process is, is a bit slow and I don't mind, um, especially like with my videos. I know they're like in a gazillion parts. Like this is part two and we're only on the second back row. So part three is probably going to be like, because I, I want to try to get some of these leaves done now the leaves i will probably do a couple with you guys and then i'll do the rest off stream because it'll be the same for the leaves so like if we start the leaves on the outside they'll be the same color um like these ones specifically hang on a sec Okay, um, I keep muting so I can clean my nose in case you guys were wondering why I keep saying hold on. I did take my allergy medicine, so it is a bit runny. Um, and I don't really want to just keep sniffing in you guys' ears, so I'm trying to keep my nose clean so I'm not sniffling in your ears because that is what's going to keep happening. I woke up um, and I was a bit stuffy. Now these guys, I don't know what they're doing outside, but for the past week, they've been out there. I don't know if they're working on the street or the landscaping or what, because whenever I look out the window, they're just standing there. But whatever they're doing, it's like right outside underneath my window. And at least that's where they're like parked and where they have all their equipment. And I think that's what's making my allergies kick back up because I was getting better. Um, but I've been waking up kind of stuffy and I think it's got something to do with whatever they're doing out there.
and I'm trying to like, um, you know, try to keep from getting back sick because I was miserable and it was not fun and I don't want to go through it again. So I hope whatever they're doing, they're almost done because like I said, it's been like a week and it's, I mean, I know you got to do what you got to do, but, um, it's a bit disturbing, just a little. Because I don't know if it's landscaping, then they're kicking up all that pollen and God knows what. So that could be, I'm just getting into the small spaces here. Um, yeah, so that could be why. I'm not having the greatest of time this week with my allergies. All right. Background is done. And so that was, we pulled from this color and then we've used this yellow. So now I think I'm going to move on to, well, firstly, we can do this top of this bottle here because that's just going to be like this cork color. So I was kind of looking at, kind of, I was looking at the Prisma colors for it, but I also like the way the Pablos look. So I might pull that and then, um, Quite honestly, the one from the Ohuhu's is nice too. So I might base it in the Ohuhu ones and then maybe come in with, actually the closest thing would be the Holbein's to the Ohuhu, actually the Prismacolor would. So I might grab those. So to start, since I'm gonna base it, I'm gonna need Sand White in the Ohuhu's and that is going to be E something something. E280 right here. So this is the one you want. E280. And I am just going to base actually because this bottom part is inside the glass. So I'm going to do the bottom with this lighter one, the sand white. And I'm just going to base it. Because it's in the glass, so it needs to be lighter. And then I'm going to actually come with um, deep cream or I can pull out my swatch and see what's the next closest thing to sand white and that is going to be brick beige so I want to compare that to deep cream yeah that sounds about right so I'm going to actually grab E210 which is slightly darker, just slightly. And if you can see, you want it to be slightly darker because it's not behind the glass. I would like to think that the glass would make it lighter. You're swatching your, oh, finally. <laughs> it's gonna help so much better than you just randomly picking. I don't think I could imagine myself randomly picking these Ohu markers because some of the um, caps don't match the color either. So you have to be careful with that. So I'm just going through because there are bits of it back here that I want to make sure I grab. Okay, so you see it's, I want it to be slightly, 
slightly lighter. And while we're at it, I'm gonna grab um I'm gonna grab deep cream for the rope that's going around. And this is all within the same um the same color. So let me see if I can find deep cream. Here it is. This is Y230. Upside down. Y230. And I'm going to base the rope. And I did show last stream the colors that I chose for each section. But you don't have to stick to the ones that I chose. You can always choose your own. Or you can even go, like, go with some of the ones I chose. But go with a different shadow color. It doesn't actually have to match. Um, what, with what I have. These are just the colors that I think matches the closest to the palette so if you see a color and you're like hmm I don't really like the way that one matches choose something different um it doesn't have to be with what I have just letting you all know that sick of not knowing the colors yeah I, I know that feeling and then like I said they don't always match the caps either so it it would end up being something different and then you would put it down on your page and I would be upset if I put it down on the page and it turned out to be something that I didn't want it to be. I would be kind of mad. <laughs> so um, we have that and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the polys for these leaves. I like the way that I have this light flesh color with it, but I also like the Holbein's colors. Hmm. Hey, I'm watching you, sir. Just because I'm streaming doesn't mean I don't see you. So, for the leaves, I was looking at either orange. At first, I was looking at pink. But I think I want the ones on the inside to be like pink and green. And the ones on the outside, I think I want to be kind of like a reddish orange. Almost like autumn type leaves. So, I think I'm going to go with um, the polys. Oh yeah. Oh um well I'll I'll um uh, message you on Instagram for what I was about to say. I'll save that for later. So um I think I'm gonna go with the polys on this one on the leaves. So the leaves will be let me grab my polys. Um uh -oh. And then anything we drop over here, we have to hurry up and pick it up because he is fast. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me grab. Oh, no, that's not the right one. I need. He's quick. So it's like as soon as you drop something, if you don't pick it up, he's got it. Like you might as well say bye to it. Okay. I also need Scarlet and Deep Red. Okay. So. Yep. Oh, vacuum isn't even the word. He's like one of those industrial car washing dryer things that like at the end where you can go and vacuum out the stuff on your carpet. Yeah, that's him. And he has some odd fascination with my Super Mario um, collector's coin that he keeps going after. So um, I moved it out of his reach. And so, I guess because he couldn't get to mine, he decided to go into the living room and go snag up his. 
So when I seen him with it, I'm like, you have my Super Mario coin again? And then I'm like, well, no, because I knew I put it out of reach. So I said, oh, I said, yeah, I'm telling on you. Yeah. So he goes in the living room and he decides to go and get his Super Mario coin. And I'm like, hmm, now you know you are not supposed to. Yeah, I'm telling. Oh, no, sir. I'm telling. Because you, you snag up everything. Yes, you do. So, um, and he's very vocal. He will he will tell you about yourself, as you can hear. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple of these leaves. Let's see. No going back now. I do like the orange color, actually. It's actually pretty nice. So, I think with these, I'm going to go dark on the outside, light on the inside. I was going to go, maybe I'll do it that way. Maybe I'll have like the go from dark to light going this way. Because I always do it the other way. So, I think I'm going to do it this way this time. So, I'm going to have, this is the scarlet red so these are going to be kind of like orangey reddish leaves but i don't want too much red i want it to be mostly orange on some of them forgot to show you guys the colors i'm using so <laughs> in the polys we have dark cadmium orange Scarlet red and deep red. Hopefully you all can see that. The polys have like a, there you go. You can kind of see it, yeah? All right. They have like a, um, they're, it's hard to show their names and numbers on camera. So this, I'm just kind of mapping where I want the colors. I haven't actually, and these are going to take, you know, a while because the polys you need to layer some people blend them, so for those who blend them, then, you know, hey. But I actually layer mine, so these leaves might take a bit. Which I hope you guys can see okay. Let me just zoom in. So this is the darkest color I'm on right now, and I'm just kind of mapping out where I want it. Now I'm going to the medium color, which is going to be our scarlet red. And if you all like, you can always base these in your ohuhus to go a bit faster if you want. But it's not really necessary. I mean... <laughs> if you are using... Oh, he's chasing his tail again. I'm not sure why he's so angry at his tail, but um, that is what you hear in the back. He is having a tail chasing moment. You finished? Okay. Um... So you see, these are just some nice reddish. And then if you want, what you can do, you can go really <coughs> a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to go backwards. I'm just layering just so that the colors are nice and blended together. I want to show you guys this because we are already, for some reason, I feel like these streams, they go by so quick. And I know I said I wanted to do leave them at an hour, and, um, but it's okay because again, um, it's not like you know I'm in a rush or anything, so it's all good.
And then if you want it an even more orangey, which is what I'm leaning towards right now, I'm gonna grab something a little bit more orangey just so that it can pop at the end. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grab, what is this? Dark chrome yellow. Just so that at the end it has a little pop like that. So we're still keeping within the color palette using these colors and um i think from now on you hate swatching <laughs> oh but it's helpful it really it is it's really helpful um usually when i swatch i will put on like a documentary or something something that i can listen to not necessarily something that i have to watch but I can listen to what's going on while I'm swatching. Notice my voice is getting a little scratchy too. I hope I'm not re-getting sick, really. I'm not in the mood for getting re-sick. So I'm just basing these in that chrome yellow. This dark chrome yellow actually. Um, Did I say chrome yellow before? I meant dark chrome yellow. This is dark, dark chrome yellow. Hey, 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 hey. Hang on, guys. You better not. You better not. You, sir, you better make your way on this mat and not the floor. Please and thank you. Um... potty training <laughs> um yeah so I you gotta watch him because he he's got the concept but sometimes he will miss the mat a little bit and I'm not cleaning this carpet again I mean I am if he goes on it but um I would rather him learn to go on the mat directly but it's just sometimes it'll run off the side i feel like these mats need to be larger and these are like the extra large ones and um i they're not that much bigger than the regular sized ones but they cost more and i'm like well i might as well get the regular sized ones and put like a couple of them down because the extra large ones are just not they're not as big as they should be. And I'm like, well, what if you're, what if someone was training like a bigger dog? Um, that would be pretty bad. Okay. Um, give me one second because he did go on the mat. So he does get a treat. So he knows that he did good. <laughs> so let me just grab that for him. And he's off to the kitchen before I can even get there because he already knows. <laughs> So like he knows um, when he when he goes on the mat, he does know that, and it's like it's like they know when they go on the mat. He knows um, because as soon as he goes on it, he's like coming to me like, "Hey, did you see that?" Like you know, um, so he's learning. He's still learning. Um, he is behind on his learning thanks to the previous owners. But um, he's he's catching up. So I also have to do my hair today. That's another thing I don't feel like doing. But um, I I did already wash it and everything. I just need to retwist it fun 
<laughs> so. He's in there sniffing very hard at the front door because he went off to work and he didn't see him leave. So he's in the living room totally confused, like, where did he go? He was just here. And he's sniffing at the front door. I think he knows, like, okay, he left. And he's sniffing at the front door. It's funny. Okay. Yep, so this is basically what these leaves are going to look like. I won't do all of them on camera with you guys. So all the outside leaves, except for these that's on the bottle, but all the outside ones are going to look just like this. Um, And we're still within the color palette. Now, there might be a color or two that will fall outside of the color palette. Because I feel like black, white, gray, um, things like that don't really count towards the color palette. I feel like you can use those um, whenever. They don't have to be part of you know they don't have to be excluded just because it's not in the color palette because I feel like those are just basic colors that go with anything um so you know if those are used those are okay and then sometimes there are colors that just need to be ooh nice you got your cartridges um don't print anything yet. Um, so, like for instance, um, we have some water down here. So, I will, I may or may not use blue. But something small like that is actually okay. Um, because it's not too far outside of the color palette. It's just um, a little bit off because there is no blue in our color palette. But that is a big maybe. I don't know. I might go outside the box and the water might not be blue. So we'll see when we get there. We're not there yet. Um, we're doing this together. But these leaves, um, you know, we've done two. So right now I'm just basing all of them in this dark chrome yellow. And then I will do the, the actual coloring of them off screen. Because you guys see me do a couple already. So you don't need to see me do sit here and do all of them. Plus this is going to take ages. So um I won't sit and do all of the leaves on screen with you guys. I'm so glad these books don't have hidden images in them anymore, though. Because trying to find a way to color around those hidden images are nerve-wracking. But I do have some of the books that have hidden images in them. And some of them are being covered up, and some of them are just kind of being colored into the picture so it's a bit crazy when you have random hidden images in places that shouldn't be but it's nice that the newer ones don't have them could you imagine this book with hidden images in it i probably would honestly be annoyed because this book is very i love this one this one might be one of my favorites um, probably not my favorite. I don't know which one my favorite is yet. But I would probably be highly annoyed if there was like a random, I don't know, jack-in-the-box in the middle of one of these leaves or something. And 
such a beautiful picture and it gets ruined by random hidden images. So I'm just basing these and I'm just doing a light kind of messy layer just so it can have something there and I can kind of see. This is where I just map out the color. So I just do a light layer of each color working light to dark and then I work my way backwards and then work my way forward again. And I do that until I figure out if it looks good enough or not, basically. So these are, actually they do look like they're a part of, cause these just look like smaller version of these. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do these ones here up top as well the little ones, but I'm gonna work on the bigger ones first because they're growing out of this. These ones are, which means this other stuff is probably growing out of the bottle too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those as well. So all the leaves on the outside of the bottle. T, hey, how are you? What time is it? Oh, you, you're getting ready to go live too soon, huh? A couple hours. So, um, I am going to do these also. I'm doing pretty good. Just got a little sniffles from my allergies, but... Doing pretty good. Just working on, um, I'll, I'll recap in a second. Um, give me one. I think that's all of them. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I am using uh, Sarah Renee Clark's color palette. And that's where the, these colors are coming from. I went through and I made like a worksheet and I picked out the colors that I thought would match for like different pencil sets that I have. So I'm just putting it to the test um, on live. So that's what we're doing here. And this is part two. Part one, we did the, the background of the bottle and we based the background. Today we shaded in the background and we did these two leaves that's as far as i've gotten <laughs> for the past hour thank you oh and we also based this we haven't shaded it yet though um that's as literally as far as we've gotten um as far as i've gotten anyway if anybody's coloring along they might be a little bit further than me but i'm just going through and i did a couple leaves the rest of these leaves i'm gonna do off stream because they're gonna take forever. I am a very extremely slow colorist and we're working in Mythographic Aviary. So if you have that book and you wanna color along, um, feel free. It's no rush, we're just hanging. Um, for the background, I used Pablo's for this background, I used Ohuhu's and Holbein's. And then for the leaves, I'm using Polly's. So, um, but yeah, you, you kind of came at the tail end of it. <laughs> I, I'm really trying to keep my streams like under or an hour roughly because here I do a leaf while I'm talking. Um, simply because like when I do the longer streams um the people who go to watch it back typically don't want to sit and watch it for that long so I try to keep it at a decent time so that um you know the people who watch it back can watch it without having to sit for seven hours because if I were to sit here and just sit and color this um, it'd probably take the rest of the day and then some. So I try to, you know, 
keep it reasonable. I can hear him in there. He is in something. Yuki? Um, hopefully that something is something of his and not something of mine. So, yeah, I try to keep it, I'm trying to keep it within decent time. Long story short. But anyway, that's what we're doing. I think it's hard to because you stop to read and respond. Yeah, you have to stop and read the comments and and I don't want to like there's there's people out there they will ignore the comments on purpose just so that they can get their their content out. But I don't want to ignore you guys. Like the purpose of me going live is so I could communicate and we can all talk and you know, I can kind of talk in color at the same time. I don't want to be like, "Oh, I'm going to ignore the comments so I can get this this page colored cuz what's the purpose? I might as well do a recording if I'm going to do that." So, um, yeah, it was more fun that way. That's why, because I was going to, originally I was like, okay, I can do this as a recording and just upload it. But then I was like, that's kind of boring. And then people might have questions. They might want to be like, you know, oh, what color are you using again? Or what's the combo or can I see the color palette paper again or something and then I want to be able to be like sure and show it to you versus waiting on the comment and then they have to wait for me to respond and no one wants to do all of that so and it's more fun this way versus sitting talking to myself and then is sitting talking to myself in total silence because it's not like I can have the TV or anything on because I'm like, you know, I don't want that in the background. You guys don't want to hear my crime documentaries in the background while I'm, yeah, like, you know, so even though I can't hear you guys, um, you know, talking back, I can at least read your comments. Uh, just yeah you know what sometimes the grab and go works um i know a couple people who color like that they just grab and go but um my anxiety is not gonna let me do that i will spaz out <laughs> i tried it once i i you know tried to like just not swatch and just pick and then picking up a color and it's not the color you thought it was gonna be and now everything is yeah no I can't so I have to at the very least have swatches but I do have um a color combo sheet where I keep all my color combos in and stuff like that and it's so much better it's so helpful because I can just like go through it and be like and that's what I was doing on, on my bird page I have to go through I have to pick up my color combo book Cause I'm like, okay, there is a green, a certain type of green I was looking for, and this one. And I went through my, um, I went through my combo book and I was like, okay, which green am I specifically looking for? And so I was able to pull that really quick. It was, it was great. I didn't have to try to think up a combo off the top of my head cause I had one already. Was sharing my color combo and stuff. Yeah, and that's that's another thing I'm trying to do. Like I have um, a set already up on my Etsy shop. It's my green combos, but I want to work more on my combo book because I have it. Um, it's not complete, obviously, but like I have literally um, like my greens are here. And I have tabs on the side for each color. So like my blues and, but it's not completed yet. So um, sometimes when I go to look for colors, I'm in trouble because it's not completed. So, but 
it's okay. I'll get there. It's, it's not, not like I'm racing myself or anything. So, um, but yeah. I try like when I'm when I'm doing stuff like this and I'm purposely working to show you guys, I try to have the combos, the names at least or my thought process at least in my head. That way when the stream starts, I can be somewhat cuz I'm already a slow colorist, so I can't be slow and unorganized. <laughs> That's not a good mix. And so this leaf is cut off, so some of it isn't going to be showing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm and they'll be like, um, not only is she a slow colorist, but uh she is never organized. I'm already never ready at the start of my my live streams. At the start of every one, if you go back and watch, it's like, give me a second, I'm still getting set up. No, no, they like, you had all this time, and you're still not ready, and half the time I'm not, but I do try to be. I really do try. Um, sometimes it just don't work out that way. That's all. And then also it's easier too if I have to like switch pencils, like uh, brands, the combos are usually there. And I say usually because they're not always there. But usually I can, you know, because with the color palette, I noticed that when I was going through my pencils, I don't have all the colors for everything. Like, um, for example, my light fast, I couldn't find a a lighter color or a shade color for these two so it's just certain sets I haven't done my luminance yet either because I don't have a full set of that um, the ink tints I haven't quite finished yet either so it's it's semi done YouTube made vertical live a default so not knowing yeah yeah they they caught me with that one time too I was like um what is this? I was like, no one told me anything. So I hit start and it was upside down or, or the long way or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, oh, I was not ready for this. Be right back. And I have to like end it and come back. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, but those are what all of these leaves are going to look like on the outside of the bottle. So when I come back, um, either Sunday, we'll see how I feel on Sunday. Um, this should be done, the leaves. And then I will shade this in with you guys and we will work on probably the, the branches. And then that way we can get started on the inside. But we're making good progress, really. We're like halfway done. <laughs> Um, in theory anyway but again I'm going to show you guys though um, this is color palette one that we're doing and let me just so these are the colors I picked for Ohu so you guys can see that I haven't done my Copics yet or my acrylics but you know hey I just told you not to print nothing yet view anyway um, I did my Pablo's. I haven't done my Luminance because I don't have a full set. So I'm leaving that blank for now. And I started on my Ink Tints and my Neo 2's. I will probably do later today if I have time. But I did do my main ones. Prismas, Polys, Holbein's, and kind of on the Light Fast and Pablo's. So those are there if you guys want to see those and if you haven't seen part one check out part one if you are coloring along and you want the colors for the other things all right i'm gonna head off of here because i have to do my hair and also i have a couple of videos i need to record um 
view, I'm going to send you a message on Instagram. So look out for that here soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for everyone who came and hung out with me. And on your way out, hit the like button if you haven't hit it yet. Share button also is awesome to get the word out that I'm testing out this here. And I'll see you guys either Sunday or next week, Thursday. Bye.